Well, hello. Well, here's a, a complicated and, as you'll see, a pretty important one. Should we fight artificial intelligence? Well, okay. So what do we mean by artificial intelligence? Well, a pretty good uh, definition is that it's a combination of technologies that uh, uh, enables machines to, to sense, comprehend, act, and learn with human-like levels of intelligence. It involves things like machine learning, uh, natural language processing, and, and the mining of deep data. Not many years ago, we were thinking about these developments as science fiction scenarios uh, for the distant future, but technology's been advancing so quickly that it's all catching up to us, and we now have to face up to the real world of AI's impact on all of our lives and futures. It, it's just mind-boggling stuff. But uh, what's the problem? Uh, well, some of the heavyweight brains in today's world of technology, like Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk, even the late Stephen Hawking, uh, have expressed misgivings. Uh, they are saying that wrongly guided AI could cause havoc in the world and even the end of humanity. And others say, look, that's nonsense. We'll be able to control it. Uh, the potential benefits of humanity are just so great and are unlimited. So I look at both sides of this enormously important issue. It really is a big one. Okay, first of all, what about those who say yes? Uh, uh, they're the ones who would say that AI is potentially very dangerous and we should keep it on a tight rein. Well, for reference, uh, just so we can get our terms straight, some refer to weak AI, like those technologies that uh, predict the weather, uh, that en enable dating websites, uh, that uh, enable voice assistance like you have in your phones. Uh, most would agree these are relatively harmless and they're simply providers of human convenience and maybe some cost saving. Um, however, when we get to strong AI, then we worry about the horrors depicted in science fiction films where the, where the computers actually take over. This was uh, memorably uh, anticipated and described in the classic book and science fiction film 2001 Space Oddity. You'll remember that the malevolent computer HAL takes over the spaceship and endangers life on it. Well, that's the kind of thing we should be worrying about. And a classic and frightening example is the use of AI in warfare. It involves scary phrases like lethal autonomous weapon systems <laughs> or killer robots who will wage war without any human intervention after having been given the appropriate instructions. Uh, needless to say, technologies like this in the hands of political fanatics and madmen, of which we have certainly had our share in recent history, could result in apocalypse. Well, uh, would you want to give someone like Trump uh, free reign to utilize and exploit such technology? I don't think so. Um, and making such systems even more frightening is the prospect that they might even be difficult to turn off a necessary a defensive feature against a determined enemy endeavoring to infiltrate an opposing AI-based weapon system. Uh, good grief. <laughs> Are we heading for this? Um, and we must consider the cost of mass obsolescence of workers in a society where the computers do everything and do it better than we could. Uh, uh, practically all of us uh, in one scenario are going to get automated out of our jobs. And how will we spend our time in any kind of fulfilling way and, and avoid simply becoming the ultimate self-indulged couch potatoes? Is, is that what we want? So all this is uh, pretty frightening stuff. Um, and uh, is there anything uh, we can do to slow down its development? Uh, we've got to be thinking about this. If we don't, there's probably going to be big trouble ahead. So let's get serious about it. Okay, what about those who say, no, no, we don't have to try and oppose it or slow it down or stop it. Uh, there's just too much benefit. We, we, we should definitely not attempt to stop its development because the benefits for society are just so great. 
Uh, what are some examples? Well, driverless vehicles are definitely coming. Uh, they will eliminate dangerous and boring jobs and make the roads safer. Uh, no more driver shortages to slow down our Amazon deliveries. <laughs> um, in developing new drugs, uh, pharmaceutical companies are using AI-type analytics to discover molecule candidates and and uh, managing the process of uh, experimenting and, and approving them with several rounds of iteration to select the best ones for drug manufacturing. It's all happening much, much faster, as we saw in the case of the COVID drugs. Catching criminals like sex offenders, sex offenders and human traffickers and those sorts of people. Many of them use the internet to entice uh, potential victims, entrapping uh, defenseless, needy, struggling people. Artificial intelligence tools and algorithms uh, scrape, as they say, scrape images from different websites uh, that are used by traffickers and they analyze the data from their advertisements to identify potential victims of human trafficking, catch the miscreants, and even alert authorities before the crime takes place. That's got to be a good thing. And uh, what about energy? Uh, well, AI is already helping us to optimize renewable energy. They have the ability to combine weather data and sensors to optimize, to predict, managing ener energy consumption across different sectors. Uh, this will be uh, help us to not only improve efficiency, uh, but reduce any operating reserves of energy that we need. Uh, and our recent uh, worries about energy availability uh, what, that we're going through right now makes, makes this really essential. And AI can help people who are living independently with disabilities. Uh, Voice-assisted AIs is, is a major breakthrough. It's helping people who are, for instance, visually impaired, helps them communicate with others using smart devices, describing their surroundings. Uh, tools like this can really change their lives, helping to overcome their, just the daily obstacles that they treat because of their disabilities. So those, those, are, those are pretty impressive benefits. Uh, do we want to discard them? Okay, what's my take? How do I feel about this? Well, to me, it's pretty obvious that artificial intelligence has enormous potential to serve society bringing uh, radical innovations for human beings in the future. It's problem-solving ability could help people, communities around the world, you know, solving some of today's toughest challenges, and, uh, sorting out problems. But there is no question that there are enormous risks and potential dangers associated with this technology. But let's face it, there is no way for it to be stopped. It's just going to happen. And thus, the greatest challenge for mankind will be that of figuring out how to control it to make sure it does not run riot and turn on us. That's the challenge. Will that happen? Well, I'm afraid the jury's out. Who knows? Good luck to everyone. I'm not sure everyone will want to have heard my view, which is at best an equivocal and uncertain one, but there it is. And if you liked it, uh, please do the usual. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, notify, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.